Hi, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Uh, it is Friday night. It is time for a little never. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in as we got some Dungeons and Dragons. I just like got somebody laughing when I'm bored. So, um, um, uh, we've got a few announcements before we kick things off. Uh, first announcement is welcome to any sort of newcomers. Uh, we've, we've, we've been making the rounds and, and saying hi to some other Dungeons and Dragons streams and, and, and making friends all over the place. So, Big thank you and a hello to anybody that's tuning into the channel for the first time. Uh, it helps us out immensely if you give us a follow or subscribe. Uh, you can do that for free uh, if you have Amazon Prime. And just click uh, up in the, on the top there where it says, you know, subscribe. And, uh, and it helps us a lot. It keeps the lights going and keeps the fan going because it gets real hot in here. Um, so um, uh, you can hang out with us on the Discord. Uh, you know, please do that. Uh, there's lots of fun things going on. There's an inspiration channel. There's a meme channel. General chat, schedule updates, uh, and, and things of that sort. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Uh, there's also a, uh, a couple of play-by-posts uh, going on right now with the potential of a third dropping uh, within the next week or so. Uh, so, uh, I've had this idea brewing for a long time, and I think it's finally coming to fruition, so, uh, so there are lots of chances to interact and hang out with people and do stuff like that, so please, please, please come and hang out with us, uh, on there. Uh, we also have a merch store. Merch place store. for you to merch store. Uh, that's a new official jingle. Uh, we're workshopping. It's in beta. Uh, so you can get water bottles, you can get t-shirts, you can get mugs. Right, Indigo? Yeah. Right! Oh, okay. Uh, and you can fill it with all sorts of good stuff, like whiskey. I don't know. I wish I had whiskey. Uh, so, uh, so visit the merch store. That's and a lot of. In that's, there. A lo that's a lot of that's whiskey. That's a lot. That that, you that's like spilling over the side. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy oh, how much in there. It. <laughs> She's been drinking it for like an hour and it hasn't gone down yet. It's well, it's magical. I didn't. We didn't mention that at the merch store you can get magical items. You can. <laughs> oh, how cool would that be? <laughs> Uh, okay, now I'm going to do <laughs> like a delivery class. system that's delivered by Pixies. Maybe I'll just give you guys catalogs. That's a lot of work for me. I'm not sure I'm ready for that. <laughs> thank you, okay. Praetors. Uh, uh, Praetors, uh, tuning in, thank you so much. Um, so, uh, yeah, guys, uh, uh, come and hang out with us. Uh, we've got an amazing schedule this coming week on Sunday. It's the return to my favorite game that we've ever done here on this channel. Oh One my of my God. favorite Never. games of all time. It is... Neverland, oh. which is tonight, <laughs> and then on Sunday night, Crab Road Truckers. Yeah. Um, you play a giant half man, half crab, who's also a trucker, and you go on wild adventures, and it is basically the best improv game you ever played in your entire life. I love it. I love it too, and it's oh going to be great, because uh, they're going to be trucking through time on this one. Oh, trucking through time? Dinosaurs, uh, and they're transporting the Declaration of Independence. You're not going to want to miss this. We're going to be drinking Natty Light. Uh, cold beer, cheap whiskey, Sunday night. It's going to get wild and crazy. Y'all are going to have to tune in. Uh, so that is Sunday night. Uh, <laughs> Monday night, uh, I think I'm going to be playing a little bit of the Spider-Man. Uh, I've, I've got a brand new system I want to crack into, so we're going to be playing a little video game. <laughs> we're all bars here. We're all bars down here. Uh, so tune in for that on Monday night. Tuesday, uh, we go to Wonderland. Uh, in the last episode of Wonderland, our other 5e tabletop D&D &D game, uh, a lot of stuff, crazy stuff happened. There's a brand new set of adventurers. Our heroes, which traveled to the Nine Hells to rescue a fallen comrade, uh, have returned, but a year has passed since they left, and things are crazy back in reality. Um, and so you're going to want to tune into that to see what exactly happened while they've been gone. Uh, what happened with Dull? What happened with Bo? What yeah. happened with Grim? Yeah. It's crazy. You're gonna want to tune in for that. I'm really excited about that. And then uh, Thursday night we cycle back around to a little bit of World of Warcraft, a little bit of Wow, wow. with Indigo wow. Chameleon, which brings wow. us to Friday Neverland. Guys, when the last we we left our <laughs> intrepid heroes, uh, they met a really cute Aerocopra. Uh, you met a little cute little guy, John Bird, um, uh, who is in uh, no relation, and, and I, it was me actually dropping a little bit of lore as to why the Lost Boys, when they saw Wendy flying, called her 
A windy bird. A windy bird. Um, so uh, so oh, John Bird led them to a group of Aarakocra, uh, who were somewhat starving. They had found themselves on this island and, and had no way of getting to their food because some vicious creature was stalking and sort of set up shop in this area. Um, um, as they had set up shop in this area, and uh, and the heroes had sort of banded together to to help uh, get rid of this cloaker um, from their storehouses, uh, they uh, they were able to keep anything in there except for any of the food and and clothing and sort of bedding stuff. And sure enough, the heroes rolled really high investigation checks and found a, a bunch of different magical items, including a long lost friend uh, to our lost boy. Um, who is uh, older now in his 30s, but he's starting to age backwards uh, the more he levels up. Uh, he found a little turtle buddy, uh, his, his slower poke. Uh, so it's slow poke and slower poke have been reunited. Uh, and now we find our adventurers after that long escapade. Uh, you've made your way back to the Aarakocra village, and uh, you were beginning to settle down for a long rest for the evening. Um, does anybody do anything uh, right before you rest? I'm sure everybody, uh, be aware that everyone is beat to heck and back, missing spell slots, missing hit points, and things of that sort. Um, can I investigate the journal that I found at the campsite before we even went to see the cloaker? Yes, absolutely. Uh, so this is the, the journal that you found at the old tribe uh, camping spot yes. that the Aarakocra had taken over. Yes. That give, very same journal. Give me Not the, the other five journals that I found. Before. You haven't found those yet. You're oh. Well, give me an investigation check. <laughs> <laughs> OCC. Using my fancy new dice. Yeah. yeah. First roll of the fancy new dice. Investigation, you said? Investigation as you pour over the contents of this Ooh, journal. That would be a 21. 21. Um, pretty good new dice. It's, it's pretty it's pretty good. Yeah, you uh, you pour <laughs> open this journal, and unfortunately, the handwriting is a little like wonky and something like that, but I think you realize, like, oh, it just takes you a little bit of time to start pouring through. Um, a lot of the journal is fact-keeping, okay? So a lot of it, think of this as like a basic ledger where it's listing supplies uh, being brought to the different camps around the area. It's, it's not the personal thoughts and, right. and, and feelings of... Um, a person until you get to the end of the journal. You start like pouring through and the, the numbers and stuff like that, it's just sort of running together until you get to the last couple of pages where it looks like a different set of handwriting has uh, grabs the journal and along the lines of, let me make sure I get the wording of this right. It's a good investigation check. The sickness creeps in. We are making our last stand. The tribe has been gathered. Um, I don't know if I'm going to reveal this yet. Uh, 21? Mm -hmm. um, okay, uh, yeah. Uh, the mother is with us. Okay. Okay? Okay. Uh, and and it, the, it's sort of scrawled in, and the, even the last word is sort of like the, the pendant was like ripped from someone's hand, yeah, like you know what I mean. And, yeah. and it was tucked in, and then they were gone. So, but that's that's what you do. That's what Castle you find. Ah. <laughs> ah, the mother's ah. ah. Um, there's also some crude drawings. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like slowpoke, no. <laughs> um, I'm taking some time as I fall asleep to officially get to know my little book of spells and attune to it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you all have little items and little things of that sort uh, that you found along your journey. All of them uh, are attuned to you. Um, uh, you, uh, you will find them in your inventory. Uh, thank you, D&D &D Beyond. Um, for all of your assistance with that. Um, but yes, Mr. Pickles, the horse, mm -hmm. uh, is with you. Uh, the Ring of the Phoenix, uh, you find yourself. The, the bag um, is with you and all of that which it contains, but I will not spoil it. I will let you reveal it as you see fit. And then the Book of Misspells. Um, once a day, any of the ones that are listed, and you can also do one of your own. Do you understand? Oh. Oh, okay. Do you understand? Okay, yes, I think I understand. This is creative. 
Yeah. Okay, and it's it's not going to be like. But it's interpreted by you. In it's interpreted way by you me use. at the same level. Kind of, so you're not going to cast like right. this, and it's going to be. Okay. It's going to be the same level. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, All right. I think. Um, I, Kel's, uh, well, like, Kel's going to go back to the to, like the children, just kind of play with play with. Uh, yeah, like, play with like, kids. Play, play with the kids. Yeah, give me a performance check, Cal. That's something you've never really had to do uh, before, as you um, start. Uh, like sort of like hanging out and just performance. Yeah, like six. Yeah, it's it's not the best here. Like some of the adults are watching, and then they were just eh. like they kind of wander away. But the kids are buying everything that you're putting up. Like at one point, you're like you like take off your arm and you throw it, and one of the kids like runs over and brings it back to you, and you like you're like what are you doing? Like yeah, you're doing little yeah. Thing. Um, Cal it, uh Cal looks as happy as a skeletal bard could look as he <laughs> plays with these. The small group of Arapokra children. Uh, Cal, mm. they aren't dogs. That's, they seem to be having fun. Okay. Um, Quartz is noticeably quiet and sort of sets herself away from the rest of the group and um, tells everyone that she's going to sleep early that night um, and sort of goes to rest for camp. Um, uh, or you setting up watch, the Aarakocra people, including John, have, have volunteered to keep watch over you since you've done so much for the drive. So you realize that there is a, you know, you would have a full night's rest without having to keep watch, but it is up to you. I think, I think, you know. I will take your deafening silence as everyone is resting for the sure. Sure. <laughs> um, Before we rest, I want to, uh, <clears throat> go tap Des on the shoulder and say, can I ask you a few things by yourself? But just you and me. Yes. Oh, can I come with? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just you and me. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Just, I just, just Des I don't and like me. being alone. No, right, oh, you'll, you'll, oh, you're not alone. You I think slower poke bite you in the ear <laughs> at that <laughs> point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You guys are in a small uh, tribe village. Um, this one is uh, is tucked um, uh, by like sort of some fallen trees that they've crafted into sort of making this little like tiny, tiny little canopy. But there's uh, there's uh, huts and and sort of man-made structures. Uh, uh, the closest equivalent is is to like a like a teepee or a lodges that 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 look like they've been discarded over time. Um, is there um, any body of waters close? Uh, yeah, uh, could, yeah, I would say that there's probably a stream, uh, but it's a, a, a walk, you know, it's a five, five, ten-minute walk. That'd be great. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to hop on. Sure. And, um, as we walk, um, I wanted to ask you a question about somebody. About somebody? Yeah. Do you, um, did you ever meet Peter? No. I've seen him. Did your tribe know Peter? Yes. Yes, 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 we did. Um, did the tribe, like, did the tribe trust him? All of us were playing a, a game of chase this entire time, whether it be us or whether it be the Lost Boys or the Pirates. Everybody was chasing each other and going after each other. So. While, while I know that we didn't trust him, per se, we didn't know him. But I will say that our leader, Tiger Lily, Cho Chil, she trusted him. How did he earn her trust? He saved her. He saved her life. He saved her from the pirates after they chased her a little bit too far. So the game of chase changed. Um, did your tribe have any other allies? Like, did they trust anybody else? Because I know it's being family, you trust your family. I guess I want to know how the tribe earns, or how somebody would earn the trust of the tribe. We have been here for a very, very, very long time. And just as 
we get closer to a different stream or a different place where we live, we get closer to different people who we live next to. And, and so our trust, so our relationship with anybody else who came to this island after us has evolved and grown with the weird times here. So it is, it is possible that, that things change all the time. It takes time. Trust me. I trust your fire. Because I trust you. If you ever get scared, that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> or if you ever need someone big to stand behind, you always have a spot with me. Um, she's gonna fly in front of your face and put her forehead on yours. After all, you'll be pretty close. I have your teddy bear in my bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We can go sleep now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a quick walk back. Uh, uh, you see the two of them coming back, and there's a there's a you know sort of camaraderie I think that, that exists even in the walk back and, and things of that sort as everyone settles down to no? No, I'm waiting to click that button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, sure enough, uh, there is a long rest that occurs. Um, as you wake up in the morning, uh, Court is gone. Uh, her things have been packed. Uh, her, the... Um, Things in her possession that are left behind are resting on Cal's um, grave marker. Uh, the the lo the stick that was there on it is a um, a necklace with a little acorn on it. Uh, it's a potion with uh, that looks like it's forming these little eyes on the potion and then closing, and then a cannonball uh, that is locked tight and wrapped in chains. Um, all of these things are left on the grave marker. Where did she go? Her stuff's at your side. Yeah, I, I don't know. This was the exact same. This is the exact same thing that I was uh, trying to avoid. She left her stuff, and she didn't tell you. We all went to bed at the same time. Then why'd she leave her stuff with you? I don't know. Wait, the Air Coco were watching. Maybe they know where she. Sure, yeah, you call over John, uh, who sort of looks exhausted. Like he, he stayed up the whole night. He's still sort of clutching the spear. Um, and uh, he says, uh, yeah, she got up, and she gathered the stuff, and she sort of looked around the space and, and uh, put the stuff on the, the grave marker and asked if she needed anything, and she said that she had everything that she needed. And she sort of walked off towards the forest. I, I, I didn't know I was supposed to stop her. Is that, was I supposed to stop her? Um, no, I mean, I guess we're just worried that if she's okay or not. I mean, she seemed determined. She talked about going home. You did good. I'm going to go to sleep now. Yeah. Go to sleep. And he, I think he, he just says to the, the little kid, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep here I'm now. Take I'm going to take a nap for you. I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to take a nap for Okay, bye. Bye. Uh, and just sort of uh, curls up, and then uh, sure enough, one of the older sort of air cocra will f fly over and pick him up and push him. And, um, and, uh, and says, you are always welcome here, should you need uh, a place of respite. And as soon as your people... Come, we, we will not be here for them to find. We will uh, make our way to the cave system. We change where we, where we live all the time. Yes. Um, we did spot someone trying to break into the camp. Um, when we approached them, uh, they dropped this, and there was another green sort of bag, like uh, with oh. with different items and little bits of food, and uh, and he sort of hands it over to you. I take it. I don't open it up yet. No. All right. Uh, heroes, 
you've had a long rest. Uh, what would you like to do with your day? Well, we said we are going to keep searching for our homes. We found where yours was. One of them, but yes. Yes, but the one on the way to yours. So I do believe yours is our next, our next. That's our next way. stop <laughs> All right. along the way. That way. <laughs> uh, yeah, you come. You set off. Uh, give me a survival. Uh, give me survival, or try to try to get your bearings here. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, you're pretty confident. You know exactly where you're going uh, in terms of setting off, and you sort of set off in, in, towards the trail and are making your way through the brush. Um, it is not long at all because you were fairly close to where you were that you start getting close to. Uh, the, the treehouse section, uh, but before you get there, you hear a couple of voices. Um, it, they're far enough away that, that you can hear they're not trying to be stealthy, they're not, but they're, they're far enough away that it's just sort of muffled. You're hearing occasional words like, uh, um, where are they? I don't know. Did they sound like child voices or adult voices? Give me a perception check. One could be. The other one is decidedly not a child. It is a male voice. It is somewhat deep. It is this. This is either not a child or one of the most beautiful bass <laughs> you've ever heard in your entire life. I'd like to use Fame's ability and go straight towards the voices. Sure. Uh, you, you guys watch as uh, as Nell goes. Hey, I got this. And uh, and. It's, I don't know if I can retcon this, never mind. Do you want to retcon something? I forgot that my familiar died. I will say in the morning, you, you cast... Yeah, I totally what, forgot. What I is no Scritch taking Scritch. the appearance of? Scritch is still Scritch. Scritch is still yeah. around, so you're not changing his form. You're just... Yeah, yes. you resummon yeah, Scritch. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Scritch is like, what? Scritch is still Scritch. Scritch is still... We're all Scritch. Yeah. Right? yeah. If you think about we it, are Scritch. I am Scritch. We are Scritch. <laughs> we are Scritch. Um, there... Uh, you see a, a couple of things. You see two gentlemen um, who are having this sort of deep conversation with each other, and um, um, one of them uh, looks um, shorter, very young in the face. Uh, he's got uh, brown hair. He's got these odd sort of uh, like spectacles that you've seen sometimes some of the pirates wear that are getting up in years, but he looks so young to be wearing them. Um, he's wearing odd clothing. He's got blue pants on that are of a strange material, um, and, a, and a white button shirt, and he's um, he's sort of like pacing back and forth, and he's got a wand on him. Uh, the other gentleman is built like a brick house, uh, broad-shouldered house, uh, broad-shouldered, uh, also wearing the same blue pants. He's wearing a, a black shirt that looks like there's a little uh, chameleon on the shirt. He's also wearing glasses. But his are dark, 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 dark. Like you don't even know how he's going to be able to see through them. And uh, um, you you see the the younger kid being like, "Well, I don't know, Duncan. Like I I tried to get her to come down, but she hasn't come down." And and Duncan is just sort of like staring down at the ground, and he goes, "All right, Chris, how about this? You're better at talking than I am. Why don't you say something to her?" Um. And Chris walks over to a tree, and he sort of looks up, and as he does, uh, you see Chris sort of, like, look up into this tree. What does Chris see? I'm back. <laughs> um, Chris sees a rather large woman in this tree. Like, shouldn't be in a tree, but is in a tree. She's about seven foot tall. Uh, you see this too, and she is, when I say in the tree, I mean like, she's not like holding on to the trunk of the tree. This seven foot tall, large woman is is up on, off, like a cat, like, like on the branch of the tree. And the first thing you think is like, how in the world is that branch holding the weight of this large woman? And as he comes closer to the tree, she arches her back and goes, and like hisses at him. And he, he puts his hands up, and he's like, um, um, okay, okay, we mean you no harm. We are explorers, and we were sent here. I don't even know if you can understand. Okay, there she's hissing again. 
Duncan, she's hissing again, and um, and Duncan just sort of looks about the space and tries to figure out what to do. This is the scene that you have walked into. <laughs> I'd like to, while I'm still fey visibility, sure. I'm gonna hide behind a tree. Okay. And be like, you're scaring her, stop it! Uh, I think they both stop. Uh, I think, <laughs> let's play this out. Chris pulls a wand out, and, um, and you watch as Duncan reaches behind his back and lifts up uh, like a, a big war hammer. And as he does, it starts glowing. And he goes, we don't mean her any harm. <laughs> Whenever you got that out, your wand and that glowing thing. Um, yeah. What does it even mean harm? We <laughs> accidentally stepped on like a rabbit or something, and this girl freaked out and started attacking the two of us. You killed a rabbit? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, okay, so you're there now. <laughs> over the over the course of the time, okay. uh, you guys have all sort of yeah. snuck up and 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 are are seeing this as well. He turns around. He said, "I didn't kill it. I accidentally stepped on the rabbit." You heard a rabbit? I I, I could have. I, I yes. Okay. Yes, I heard a rabbit. Where's the rabbit? Also, put your stuff down. Do the put the uh, uh, put things with me. Uh, How did the rabbit not see you approaching? That's my question for the rabbit. <laughs> uh, Chris, Chris will put the wand away, and he's like, he just like waves at everybody. Oh, I should drop him. <laughs> hi, hi! Oh my gosh, it's a it's a pixie. It is. Would, uh, would you tell him you're your a skeleton? Okay. He walks right past everybody and goes up to Cal and like uh, takes out a, a magnifying glass and starts like examining. Like, like the bones, and like pulls your jaw down a little bit. I need a rack. That, that's a little rude. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I just. He, He's he, a person too. Also, yes. tell your friend put the weapon away. Does the rabbit need healing? Give me a persuasion check. Heck yeah. <laughs> I am standing on this branch now and just looking down, just. Um. Just confused mostly. <laughs> he. Thirteen. Yeah. Uh. You guys are ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Duncan will look at you and put the Warhammer back on its back. Thank you. Uh, I would love to be able to tell you if the rabbit is okay or not. Why don't you ask her? And everybody looks back up at the tree at the feral girl, and as she's like hissing, you see a little like bunny hop to the front of her head, <laughs> like stare at everybody, give me the evil eye, and then like, and then like sort of like she she does something where she kind of looks up and she's like, <laughs> and the bunny goes, <gasps> and like pops, but like now it's got a visible limp to it, like it's like walking back to be on her back, and she's still sort of crouched on the tree. Clearly. You heard a friend. I didn't. Did you apologize? Ooh. Chris. I'm going to shout up at her. Is the rabbit okay? Give me an animal handling check. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, 16 plus. I don't think I've ever Three. used animal handling. 3, 19. Do you want to respond? That's all I do. <laughs> she just shakes her head no. Um, oh, so the rabbit's not okay? She, she's just shaking her head. No, so you're not you know, sure if she understands you or if the rabbit's not okay. Um, <laughs> I think Chris goes over, like the smaller of the two, like the, the <laughs> bigger guy, and he's like, they're, they're kind of right. Like, Duncan, you didn't... Maybe if you apologize to the rabbit. <laughs> and Duncan, like, looks down at Chris, and for a brief sec, everybody give me perception checks. This is gonna freak out for maybe a couple of years. Yeah, that's a twenty-one. If you got an eighteen or above, raise your hand. Hold on, I gotta check my score. No. Uh, perception. As he looks yeah. down at this kid, light flashes behind the sunglasses. <laughs> you don't recognize them as sunglasses, but like, there's a. <sighs> as he turns back around and he says, "Mr. Bunny." Please forgive me. I didn't see you in the grass. I would not have stepped on you in such a way. You have my apologies. That wasn't so hard, was it? 
Well, this is fun. All right, let's get going. Well, Goodbye, everyone. We, we solved it. <laughs> yeah. I do believe we've solved the problem. I mean, yes. I don't believe well, it yeah, was our problem. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure not that the rabbit problems. is in this. Yeah, I want to stay behind and make sure yeah. that Two of you guys start to walk off, uh, but what we'll, what we'll do is we can split the party. Like, as you two start oh, to walk God. off, uh, there's uh, these three decide to stay and see what's going on with the girl in the tree. I'm going to wave at her and say, hi, my name's Thistle, what's yours? Give me another animal handling check. Uh, 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 Chris and Duncan. Hi. Would you do us a favor? Yeah. Would you go over there? <laughs> is there something over there that we should go see? Yeah. What? Yeah, I, I saw something super shiny. Duncan, they found something really shiny. <laughs> yeah. And Duncan looks down and like like incredulous, <laughs> even with the glasses. Like Yeah, like it's probably treasure. Okay, I know. And it actually you know what? It kinda looks like your symbol on your thing. <laughs> <laughs> And Duncan looks down at Chris and goes, you know they're lying, right? Like, you know this. And Chris is like, I know, what if they're not? And we miss this opportunity. And he just takes off into the woods. Oh, no, you should go get your friend. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll turn and, like, walk off. Oh, I want to do something. Yeah. <laughs> walk off following Chris. So you have a little bit of time. Um, oh, there's something. She, she is approaching you and she's doing all the right things. As she approaches you, she's got her hands up like this and she actually holds one out so you can sniff it from the tree branch if you would like. And she's she's coming across to you as prey and not predator. Slowly get down from the tree. Very holding the still bunny still. <laughs> yeah. That is perfectly fine, by the way. <laughs> so she looks... Feline? No, no, no. She's no. she's, she's yeah. human. She's seven foot tall. Give me investigation. Okay. She's a blonde hair, some gray. She's wearing particularly minus fur. one is twelve. <laughs> Can okay. I? Yeah, blonde hair like she described. Yeah, blonde fur. hair and a braid. She's wearing bare fur. Uh, she's ripped all heck. She's actually strong. Okay. <laughs> but she's just very tall, very buff lady. Um. Did she look injured at all? There is, with a 12, there is so much dirt on her. Okay. If she were injured, it would be really hard to tell. Um, are you? How far away are you guys at this point? Like, you just kind of kept walking? Well, I I don't think they were, I don't think Slipwick would have gone too far. He was like, he was like, it's like, well, I don't know why we're still here. Started going, like, I don't know where I'm going. Um, <laughs> you, do you give me a history check? Because you saw enough of her that this may spark something in you. She just got those mm -hmm. little sparkly dice, oh, and I'm so freaking I, out. Do I, do I, do I like, not understand or understand like, bits and pieces? I well, you understand. Okay, like, cool. You're able to understand, but it's up to you whether you want to. You're cool. bad at people. <laughs> uh, you you're bad at people. Yeah. 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 A 12? 12? You're vaguely familiar with the legends of the girl in the woods who wasn't quite a lost boy. Who wasn't quite a never boy. He didn't quite fit in, so the animals were like, I'll take her. <laughs> and like. Well, can I do a history check? You can do a history check. Well, yeah. that's happening. I'm summoning Scritch, or I'm getting Scritch to come over to me, oh, and I'm going to try to get him to duplicate the exact position that she's holding her bunny in. Okay. Like, because she's, she's kind of cradling him a little bit. Yeah. So I'm going to have Scritch come up and kind of cradle him the way she is. 17. You know her as the one without a fairy. She just, she snuck through the cracks. Like, she didn't have one. Like, she she, she didn't have a fairy. She 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 was too wild to hang out with the Never Boys, but she was she was too feminine to hang out with the, so she didn't quite, so the animals took her in. And, like, uh, you, uh, one of the bigger, uh, like, uh, ones that kind of looks like a monkey is holding a rat. Is this sparking anything for Cal? No. I'll let you roll history at disadvantage, but this is so. Does the rat respond to me? When oh I yeah. Think I'll, I'll no. let Scritch. No, no, no. Go. You don't have to. Uh, okay. He's like, hi. Hello. What's your name? Clip. Hey, Clip. Th this one's okay. Okay. Yeah, the, the all of them are pretty good. Okay. Yeah. And you are okay. I'm okay. Okay. 
Yeah, and Scritch does something you've never seen him do. He actually like tries to squeeze out of your arm a little bit. I'll let him go. Yeah, uh, he squeezes out of your arm and just goes like right up to her and like just jumps in the other hand and they have a pleasant conversation. <laughs> like that's squeak, 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 I love you, bye. Love you, bye. <laughs> and he like hops <laughs> off into the... Okay. <laughs> Wait, <exactly. laughs> I will hand Scritch back to you. You are okay. I said that in actual... Out loud. In common. <laughs> Thank you. Has Scritch conveyed any of this to me? Uh, Scritch communicates to you that she is she is not one of you guys. <laughs> she got, he, Scritch tries to go, uh, hey, um, she's not... She's not human. But, I mean, she's human, but she's not... She's she's closer to me. Okay, but is she nice and friendly, and she's not gonna kill us? I'm a rat. <laughs> <laughs> I know so little about very good. Thanks, Scritch. <laughs> you just lost so many familiar points. <laughs> you know what? No, I'm gonna make an insight check as Scritch <laughs> using Scritch's stats. I will go. Is she hu- Tell me everything. Is she nice? Is she gonna kill us? I'm gonna use the insight stats for this rat. I have a giant axe made of on my back, by the way. S- Scritch goes. Eh, she's okay. <laughs> she's alright. Wow. That's a whole lot of okay. Scritch. Insight is wisdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> Nell is looking at her with these, like, big puppy dog eyes. <laughs> like Just going. <laughs> yeah, buddy, she's, it's a big I woman. See, I see, she says she has, like, a, a bone, an axe man and a bone. Yeah, I have an axe. So I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> No bless when you're <laughs> sorry. Like, Not human. Mm-hmm. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy the elf, what's your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> is, are, is her clothing ripped and stuff? Like, she's not she wearing. I am wearing she's a wearing fur top and a fur skirt. Babe. Brown fur. She's not it's wearing a- any sort of like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Okay. For modesty's sake, it's covering all the yes. like she just looks like sort of dirty and feral. Um, Scritch communicates, hey, do you have any food? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would have some stuff in my pack. Yeah, he's like, give her some food. Okay. I offer her some food. Thanks, Scritch. Give me animal handling again at, <laughs> at advantage. Oh, okay. Everything delivered me with animal handling. Uh, I think you I think you would fly over at this point. Oh my god! And you like grab some of the food and you're like, would you like some? Would you guys have animal handling advantage? Seventeen. Twelve. <laughs> wow. That's okay. A nine and a ten. A nine and a ten. Um, with the minute they give you food, it's great. Like they're they're, they're they don't have a lot, but no. What's These that? are precious small babies. <laughs> precious small babies who must be protected. Who must be protected. <laughs> so I think. Wait, what type of food is I don't eat meat. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, cool. uh, I, I tend to forage as we go, so I get like berries and things cool. like that. Cool. Down with that. Okay. Precious babies. Mama, Mama comes over to you and like she like she like picks you up in a big like bear hug, pun intended, and like just sque- squeezes in like this and like goes over to you and it like doesn't know how to. Uh, and, like, like, forehead, forehead, forehead. Yeah, and she, but she doesn't leave the forehead. Like she just keeps traveling with you with the forehead. Like, uh, I'm gonna touch her cheeks. Nell, clip. <laughs> Thistle. <laughs> Thistle. Nell. Cat. Clip. Bone. That's fair. <laughs> 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 Bonehead! <laughs> that's, that's funny. Get it? <laughs> get it? 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 You two, while all this, you're on the outskirts. I imagine you're from afar. Yeah. We just kind of like slow down and kind of like, uh, pace. Oh, they're not falling. Lean up against a tree. Yeah. Um, at, at this point. Um, Chat. Yeah, I think at this point. Um, Chat. Duncan and Chris come back, but they kind of see that this this event is happening and, and stop where you are. 
and be like, um, Duncan will look over at you guys with the sunglasses still on and go, you, they got her down? I, 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 she is down. That is as far as we know. Yes. <laughs> well, they did better than us. Why were you trying to get her down? You're not over there. I'm not over, over there. there. Never <laughs> there. Never <laughs> Stop <laughs> doing this and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing us as all being in kind of the same place. Oh, together. her double You are. You're, 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 okay. you're a little loose. Got it. Her double is there. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, uh, Slowpoke, yes. Slowpoke. Call me Slowpoke. Why are you speaking with a British accent? Well, I um, had one, and now I continue to have one. <laughs> <laughs> Are you originally from here? I, yes. No one's originally from here. Well, she does have a po- few people are originally from few here. Few people are originally from here. <laughs> Could you tell us where this is? This? Where we are now. Neverland. We're on an island. <laughs> I think I think he laughs at that. He's like, oh, I get offended. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 I'm sorry. He's like, uh, I'm just not used to... Uh, yes, we are indeed on an island. Um, can I have your hand? I, I promise I won't do anything to harm you. Yeah, all right, fine. Here we go. He, <laughs> he, he takes your hand uh, with one, and then he takes the sunglasses off. Oh. And where his eyes are are these pools of light. Uh, he does not have pupils. He does not have irises. It's just pools of light. Good as and boy. as he uh, holds your hand... Uh, he feel uh, the casting of something, and he smiles. He goes, "Oh, okay, got it. Great. May I know what it is you've got?" <laughs> huh. I'm from Boston. Oh, right. Yes, I've been there. Yeah, yeah. I just wasn't expecting anybody from. That neck of the woods here on this island. I, I didn't get your name. You did not. May I have it? You have your own name that you're referred to by your people, so it wouldn't be, it wouldn't make sense if you had mine. Can I know your name? Yes. Uh, Desbahai. It means winter war. Could I have your hand, Denver? No. <laughs> Can I hold it for a second? What did you get from him? I got that he is mostly a good person, but he doesn't originate from here. These two things are accurate, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Well, I can tell you that she has been here a while and is mostly a good person as well. No hand is needed. <laughs> <laughs> give, it, give me a frustration. <laughs> no hands needed. Uh, Seventeen. Uh, I think he looks at you, and then he looks at her, and the eyes flash a little bit without grabbing your hand, and he goes, "Okay. Um, I have a couple of questions, uh, and you two seem to be the oldest." people here. I don't know the age of the undead one and that. But is anybody being held against their will here? Any of the kids? No. No. Are they taken care of? Yes. We do put they do put themselves in rather dangerous situations on situations on the regular, but I don't think there's any stopping that. No. No, I, 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 I'm picking up on that. The kids that are here, yes. that you've run into, how many signs of life have you seen? In terms of kids? No, in terms of anyone. Anyone? We've, yeah, other than us, we've run across a few pirates. Uh, Chris is frantically writing down things into a little notebook. He's got a pencil out and he's writing it down and he's sort of looking about the area. He's like, can I ask a, one more question? Sure. Is the guy at the podium with you guys? The what? The guy at the podium. Is he with you guys? Uh, I'm not quite sure. I 
That's the guy at the podium. Chris, Chris, Chris breaks his podium. Chris breaks his pencil, and he's like, "We have to, we have to do something." I don't even know what that thing is. What the podium? No, the uh, it's the thing you stand in front of. It's a a thing you stand in front of. It's like a table, but used just for being in front of. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Duncan, Duncan will walk past you all. And get to a spot and go like this. Is it towards them? No, it's away from them, and he will point. And sure enough, standing at this sort of table, that's not quite a table, but it's up like this a little bit, is a purple-skinned, winged, tailed individual. At a podium? Wearing a top hat. <laughs> it's, just, it's in a human face. No. Oh. Bright yellow eyes, oh. sort of smiling, and as as is it like a as TV Duncan looking? goes around the, the to the other side and sort of looks at this guy, his eyes flash a little bit, and the guy at the podium like looks up from the book he's reading and kind of smiles a little bit. No, no, that's new. We we have not seen. Can <laughs> <laughs> we come up with this? See uh-huh. I think at this point, like everybody's looking at this guy on the podium, and then these guys all come up behind you, and like there's a. Hey, what are you looking at? <laughs> and like Duncan jumps again at the like the little pixie. Like he's like, well, have, have you spoken hey. to the man at the podium? Have... Yeah. And he says we're too old. Oh, uh, um, what? He said we're too old. Huh? How old to is talk Chris? To or how old does Chris look? Hmm? To talk to him at all? No. To 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 be able to play. Chris Chris is in his early 20s. He's, a, oh, he's, he's like... Oh, okay. Uh, do I hear this? He's too old to be able to play? Yeah, I mean... I am running play. towards that podium. This is me! Long story short, this is usually how it goes. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as if somebody just announced free sugar day at the candy factory. It's for pretzel day. It's for pretzel day. Can I have the works? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um, well, let's all go over and see what happens. This will be something. Be fun. Um, uh, yeah, there is a uh, there is a uh, uh, gentleman standing there. He's got purple skin. He's got like sort of fluorescent yellow eyes. He's wearing a top hat. He's got a jacket on. He's got this long tail that sort of switches back and forth. I follow the babies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, well, well, hey, y'all. How's it going? Hi. Who are you? Uh, are you guys coming with, too? Are you coming with? Oh, I'm because going, I'm of course. Oh, right. He's, got, he's got horns? He, yeah, he's, like, got, he's like, got purple. Like, uh, like picture tiefling. Picture tiefling. For that. you guys, picture okay. tiefling. But this guy is all smiles. Like, the only thing about him that's not purple are these white, white, white teeth that sort of smile and his sh- eyes sort of Ooh. dart back and forth. Are they sharp? Oh, uh, give me an investigation check. So he's smiling, smiling, like all teeth? Hey, how's it going? No, it's charming. It's uh, okay. charming. 20, not nat. You hate it because it's, a, it's somebody throwing teeth. Um, hey. What is it? Uh, 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 allow me to introduce myself. Uh, they're sharp. It, it's all right. I know I get this a lot, but I was just, I'm, I'm hoping that y'all will not judge me based on my appearance. They gave me a shot, so I'm sure you have a chance. This guy gets it. I think you look interesting. I think you look very interesting, too. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. Why don't y'all call me, why don't you call me Dole? Not Dole, D-O-L. <laughs> the heart attack that just happened. <laughs> and I'm just pleased as punch that there's finally people coming back to the island. Well, uh, where's uh, where's everybody been? Where that's what we're trying to find out, or not? We're not telling you anything. I think I was sleeping. Uh, uh, yeah, no, that's happened to me before. Well, I see. I uh, I came upon the island when things were a little. Uh, uh, how, how should I say this? Uh, unoccupied. And I thought, no, th- this might be a, a good place to set up shop. So uh, I utilized my talents and, uh, and and came up with a little something. And uh, Dole will walk behind the podium and go over towards a tree. And right now it just looks like sort of this like barren area behind you. And as he taps this little tree, 
um, the illusion, the facade in front of you fades, and you see essentially a, a water park. It's water world. <laughs> it's it's, it's it, what it is. It's it's trees, stone, uh, via the use of stone shape hundreds of times, and the fact that there's a there's like water, like a waterfall and things of that sort. This dude has carved out man-made water slides. Uh, there's a large pool too that you could jump off of the top of this little area right into the pool, um, and he's like, listen, where I'm from. My childhood was kind of bad, and I, I never had a place where I was able to just kind of like sit back and relax. And so I wanted to do something nice. And and I know that y'all used to be for a while all about play and having fun. And and so I thought I, I, I could give back and, 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 and support a little bit of that the spirit. I edge close to now, and I kind of like give her a little like a. Yeah, inside him. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I'll do the same. Go ahead. Me too. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's an 18 on the inside. You don't know if it's the voice or whatever, but he seems trustworthy. Um, what'd you get? A uh, uh, nine. Ooh, oh, no. Secrets. Dude, whisper in my ear. Uh, secret, secret. Uh, uh, you guys can talk about what's coming up on Indigo Chameleon or whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rather than tune in Sunday, coming up is my new stream. All right, does Star that make sense? Wars yeah. Are yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he, he sort of smiles. He's like, now, I, I wouldn't mind a little bit of gold to, to maintain the upkeep. If y'all have gold, uh, I could take, like, one gold piece and... Yes? Why do we need this? What do you mean? Why, why do we need all the stuff? Like, the water? Well, the no, blood? it's just... Well, I don't... Uh, it's a protected place. I mean, I put my protections up so y'all can't be bothered or anything but, like that. I even got a place for uh, some of the adults if y'all want to watch and make sure that well, nothing well, untoward well, happens. Wait a minute. I have three questions. Adults here. Hmm? I point over to um, our newfound friends and I say, you didn't allow those adults here. But they don't got no kids with them. They can be with us. <laughs> but they can be with us, kids. right? They can be part of our party. These are not my kids. These aren't are my you kids. sure? They're not my kids. You'd be surprised how many mothers say that, though, when they're <laughs> when they're hanging out with like a group of kids, and the kids are getting a little wild. So, who whose kids are these? Oh, well, ex excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I didn't know. Uh, I okay. I guess I just want to know why we need this. Like, we've done okay. I mean, I'm not to speak for Thistle, but like, we've done great playing like hide and seek and like. You know, have you the stuff over there? And I don't like water. Uh, <laughs> that's I, I get, well, that's true. Um, yeah, that's I true. hate water. I get, it, it makes me nervous. Why? I don't swim well. What about now? And uh, he will his uh, he will take his hand and sort of look over at you and as if to ask for permission. Wait, what? Are, what do? And he'll wave it like this. Uh, what did you do to me? Uh, it's very easy to see as you are now uh, the same size as Thistle. I don't think this helps with swimming. Are you sure? I don't know. <laughs> How about this? Uh, what about a little kiddie pool? Uh, you can stand up if you don't like it. Let's play, let's play, let's play. <laughs> Uh, no. Okay, I have a question. Nell has instinct. Nell has no. You, you've still got wings, but you are thistle size. Can I put my feet in there? Maybe that. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nell, Nell is having an existential crisis <laughs> at the water park. <laughs> <laughs> we all work in Central oh. Florida, so we are used to seeing children. Be like, oh, I spent two thousand dollars to bring you to the enchanted water park, and this is Mama. <laughs> I'm going to hold the, out my hands down to her. like, I'll hold. Would you, ra would you rather me turn you into a mermaid? I could do that as well. No. No, I like being a pixie. Don't you dare turn me into a mermaid. Uh, what are your questions? Okay. 
I a lot of them already got answered, but one, what do you get out of this? I mean, because it seems like payment is kind of optional. So if a lot of people don't pay, then why do you do this? How do I know you're not trying to trick us? Uh, give me persuasion. He goes, how about this? There was a time where I had a lot of people who used my name for bad stuff and, and said that they would use my name to, to do things to make me happy. And for a while there, some of them got it right. And then they stopped getting it right. And I needed to return to my roots. And at the end of the day, my roots is fun. And it's playing tricks on the wind. And it's, it's being the, <laughs> the bad taste in somebody's mouth when they least expect it. And I figured if I'm going to start over, I might as well come to the island that's starting over. Insight check. 18 plus 5 is 23. He is being 100% truthful. That's all I needed here. I'm running towards it. Uh, Guys, come on! Uh, uh, one gold piece. Oh, okay, here. Yep. <laughs> gold piece gone. Can you shoot me back down? Absolutely, I can. It yeah. was fun for a second, but... All right. Let me know if y'all want to do something else. Do you come up with a different game? Or you want to try being a different animal for a little bit of time? This is a protected space. You are under my protection while y'all are here. But feel free to just swim in the water, play around, do whatever. Are you a guardian? Uh, no. I'm an insect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a natural. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. There's so many secrets. Oh, secrets. <laughs> so welcome to Go Chameleon. Um, let's see. It is Friday night, which means it's no. Neverland. Um, hey, guys. Welcome what, to this episode of Between Six no. Chairs. <laughs> I'm your host, Tim Watt. <laughs> Tomorrow we are Dark and Sunday. All right. Crab Truckers. Crab Truckers. Be You've some, got such a big dice. There's going to be some guys. inappropriate language. As as he as he leans forward and whispers that into your ear, um, there is a flick of the tail. Okay. That's what you get with a nap. Okay. 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 And he one gold me. Uh, what if I? Okay. Here's the thing. I don't want to get in the water. We've already discussed it. I yeah, like yeah, water. Yeah. Can I just follow and make sure that this is okay? Yeah, yeah. You want to air drop? You can go up real high in case. Are you afraid of heights? No. I've only ever been able to go up five feet. <laughs> Not today. Today is your chance. Money, immediately. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, uh, he goes like this. He goes, um, he closes his eyes and his tail flicks, and you see that he's casting spells, but instead of the semantic components of using his hands, he's also using his tail as well to cast these spells. And there's a... <laughs> now spread throughout the park are these pools of water, but there's also updrafts, uh, like these little sort of spirals of updrafts so that you could be by the water, jump in an updraft and float up, and then come back down and stuff like that. He likes the like, cow. Really likes this guy. Like he, like he, like almost Man, I'm vibes on like yeah, yeah. Like, yeah he's vibe. like, I'm picking so, up. So he goes, I'll tell you what, you Mister Mister, I like a bad taste in my mouth. I have no mouth to even taste it. Uh -huh. Um, so this is what I'll do. This is what I'll do. You want gold? I'll tell you what, we'll do double or nothing. We'll roll for it. If we win, I'll give you ten. I'll pay for everybody. But if I win, I want the five gold pieces back. Then we get in. And they get in, and he points to he points to Duncan. See, I got I get the I think he looks at you. Give me persuasion, buddy. He looks at you. He's 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 hooked immediately. The game aspect of this, he's like. Uh, persuasion. 
I can't tell if that's a nine. Is that a nine? That's or a six. six. Uh, uh, persuasion. Uh, but that's plus seven, so it's 13. Counter proposal. I'm listening. I know some of y'all look like y'all are kids at heart, and mm-hmm. I want to support that. You see that big waterfall, like, over whipping the pool right there? Mm-hmm. If any of y'all can do a better cannonball, I'm talking form, displacing water, if any of y'all can do a better cannonball than I can, not only will I let y'all in for free, but y'all will have permanent passes here wherever y'all would like. All you hear is, not it! <laughs> <laughs> um, but that goes for anybody in this group. And... I'll give you the gold that they paid me back, plus a plus a ten gold finder's fee for anybody you send my way in your adventures. And what? And and, and what if we can't? What What do you want? Nothing. And then you all y'all just play the pay the regular fee. I just get the feeling that you're a man who knows his dice. <laughs> sure, let's go for it. Why not? Do you? Yeah. Whoo! I love you. I love you, Cal. This is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Look at this. And he's like, all right, y'all. Y'all heard the man. Any of y'all do a better cannonball than me. I'll wait till the end of the day before I perform mine. And uh, he says, uh, feel free to help yourself. And he sort of points over to a little hut as you sort of turn your head and look. Uh, It is filled with fresh fruit, uh, juices of various varieties. Um, There's a little table off right next to the hut that has stuff on it that you've never seen before. Um, These are... Uh, called cookies. Um, <laughs> uh, you're drawn to them because of the bright colors and things of that sort. Like you go, oh, you know what they are. Oh, cookies. Uh, but you're like, oh, cookies, little Debbie cakes, uh, like, like, <laughs> like little, little, like, drink, like it's almost like a kids' table and an adults' table. Um, he goes, I only have one rule here. I only have one rule. Okay, and and and, and, and it's. I'm very serious about that one rule, okay? You gotta try to let go. Do your best. If you're holding on to, to, to the stuff that's going on, if you're deep, dark, and depressed, I get it. Everybody has those times and, and they kind of hold you to a point in the earth like change dragging you down. But while you're here, for my sake, for Neverland's sake, just let go. Cal can walk in and throw them two gold. Two gold. Uh, he will not catch him. He'll put his hands up and the tail will catch him. And he'll smile. Like and that. he'll tip his hat. Uh, and he just sort of sits sits back at the podium and sort of looks over at Duncan and Chris. Oh, man. Chris is like, Chris is like a Sarah Ford. He's like, well, obviously, we should be very, um, should be very professional about this and not. I really want to jump in the water. Come what on, the butt <laughs> <laughs> and, and he looks over up at Duncan, and Duncan shakes his head. And Chris, just fully clothed, jeans, blue shirt, just is like, ah, and like jumps into the water and just starts playing around. Like, just starts, like, runs up to the top of a side, and, and Duncan goes, I, I forget sometimes how old he is. Um, I'm, uh, thank you guys. I would not have been able to get in. Um, and I, I was concerned because whatever he is, it's not my weight class. I shook his hand and I am, yeah, anyway. Uh, and uh, Duncan goes over and sits down at a, at a seat and starts making a little plate of fruit and sits down at the chair and just starts sort of observing everything. I go over and... Um and I ask, you shook this one's hand? I did. You see what a person's about after you shake their hand. <sighs> Kinda, um, it's different than that. Um, there's this weird thing that all living creatures do. They resonate. They resonate with a frequency. It's, uh, it's something I've always been able to pick up on um, good, bad, neutral, powerful, everybody resonates. And I've always been able to pick up on that resonating. It's why I took this job. What do you do exactly? 
I'm an explorer. My people were explorers too. I'm aware. You know my tribe. Have you seen my tribe? We're all over this island, but I haven't seen very many of us. He will reach into his shirt and pull out a necklace. And on it is a wooden carving Mm -hmm. of a chameleon. And he goes, the origins of people is smaller than anybody in the world thinks. Are they close enough that he can get it? And he, he hope, he'll put it in, tuck it back in my shirt. Uh, what are you guys doing? Uh, as uh, Des uh, goes over and she's just like sort of smiling and, and, and talking and having a pleasant conversation. Uh, slow poke and slower poke, what are you doing? Um, I'm gonna let slow poke go, slower poke go play. You're going towards the water? I'm putting slower poke down. Yep, okay, so slow poke starts creeping towards the water a little bit so that he can put slower poke into the water a little bit and let him play. Would anybody like to do anything while slow poke gets close to the I water? I feel like if, if, like, honestly, she would have already been off playing in the water, but if that was, like, not quite feasible because we all go at the same time, then she's been inching as close during all of this un- conversation as she can <laughs> to the water at all times. <laughs> like, the second she's able, she is in the water. <laughs> I'm going to look at you and go, you swim? Me throw? Yes. Wisdom save. Oh. I need a wisdom save from you as you put slower poke into the water and she goes over and picks her up and chucks her. <laughs> uh, give me an athletics check, please, as you pick her up and throw her. Seven? Okay. <laughs> That's a nat 20. Yes. Oh. Can I do an acrobatics to do something pretty awesome? As she throws me like a cool little... Give me acrobatics, dude. Yes. How are you doing this? Okay, 16 plus 2 is 18. That's you, my first nat 20. You are used to... Welcome, uh, welcome uh, Clip to the show, uh, folks. Uh, Clip picks you up and she's like, you want a little throw in the water? And you're like, yeah, that would be... Oh. <laughs> it a, I think it's a pick you up by the scruff, turn around, and almost like a shot <laughs> <butt. A> shot <laughs> <butt. laughs> <laughs> And you watch for a second and there's that, and they're not my kids. And you're talking with, with Duncan. Like, and have a, um, as you're watching this and you do these like flips oh. through the air, slow poke. <laughs> you, you you feel this tugging in your chest and you look at her float through the air and flip and you go god that looks like fun and for a brief second you're like I think I've done that uh, give me perception slow folk uh, <clears throat> uh, 20 Nobody else has noticed yet, but you are about six inches off the ground. <gasps> oh Take of that what you will, but as you watch this kid fly through the air and a part of you just goes, <sighs> uh, Can I perception to see if I can see this? Because I'm up playing. At disadvantage. You are not paying any attention to slow. You're paying attention to the child that's going like, ah, <laughs> 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 Oh no. <laughs> No. Yeah, you ain't seen. I ain't seen. <laughs> uh, Cal, what are you doing through all this, man? Um, so uh, he probably would have walked up to Duncan when Des was talking because he uh, like he tried to. Duncan will uh, take the warhammer out and like shove a chair over to give you a, give you a seat. To have He's seat like, to um, so res- resonating, right? You can you can feel that kind of stuff. Yeah. Did you get anything off of me? Oh god! No, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with the messer. Got it. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and hands the arm back. Um, he got. Uh, uh, he uh, 
He grabs your hand and lets go. I got that same, I had that same idea going in my head. Uh, and he takes the sunglasses off and puts them down and grabs your hand again mm -hmm. and flares them. And sure enough, it's uh, uh, when you're looking at, uh, when you're underwater and you look up and you like look up and you see the sun shining in the sky and it gets that like, that haze, that fade, that sheen and stuff like that. That's what is leaking out of his eyes. And it almost, at one point he like turns up the juice a little bit. <laughs> like he gets, it gets bright, 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 bright. And it's leaking out of his eyes and he's holding on to Cal's hand and he lets go. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm, yeah, big guy, I'm not picking up anything off of you. Yeah. No, no, that's not a bad thing. It's... Somebody doesn't want me to. Okay. So somebody doesn't want you to? Or something. Oh. Kiddo, you're, you're, you're blocked. You're, you're shut off. I mean, it's great. You're going to have the world's greatest poker face. <laughs> but in terms of mystical means as well. Okay. The only other explanation I have is that you're a blank slate, Cal. Well, it's empty in there anyway, so. No, but Cal, do you know how many people in this world wish they could be a blank slate? You're a chalkboard. Your story has yet to be written. Mm. Sounds interesting. I... I, I wish I could tell you more. No, thank you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, I think uh, I think at one point you feel this tug on your back. It's Chris, and you're like, "Hey, could you throw me as well? <laughs> like, I don't want to." I'm really sorry about the tree thing. <laughs> <laughs> Give me another athletic shot. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Chris doesn't get as much height as this one. Like he's just a little, and she's kind of like she 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 chucks a rock on the water, but instead it's Chris. He like tumbles a few times and but like like falls in the water, and there's a brief pause, and then he like he comes up and he's like, I'm okay, and like 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 coughs up a little bit of water and stuff like that. Uh, Nell's gonna stop playing immediately and okay. go find Thistle. Okay. Uh, while you go find Thistle, uh, Slowpoke, what are you doing? Um, he, I think he's going to approach Dez, who's the only one, not the only one, but Dez isn't playing right now. No. I'm in the middle of a conversation, De though. Dez. Like, we're in adult De talk. Yeah. <laughs> I, you like go, you float, table. you float over towards Dez. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I'll wait till you're free then. Yeah, you feel a presence behind you. Uh, so, so you shook this man's hand. Then too, yes. Are you pointing towards towards um, Dole? Dole, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What'd you get? I got. <laughs> I got skimming my knee. I got uh, the first time I laughed so hard that I peed myself a little. I got, uh, one time my brother put fake vomit in my bed and it made me throw up for real and he just laughed at it. <laughs> I got the first time I watched The Goonies. The Goonies. The Goonies. Uh, it's a moving picture thing. Um, it's a, hard to explain. I got the first time I, I bit into a donut. Do you trust Goonies? No. <laughs> no, not at all. We have stories in my world about a place similar to this. Sometimes stories are better than the real thing. Uh, it's one thing to read a book about children who get lost and find their way to an area, but it's different when you look at the, the real life ramifications of a child getting lost and grieving parents. That girl over there, who's swimming in the water. She's old. You're old. You're right. But she's old too. Not as old as you, but how do I explain that? How do, she's not a child anymore. 
I mean, but she kind of is. How do I explain back to my superiors that there's a 107-year-old child without parents? I don't know how I'm going to put some of this down on paper. In the world that we all once live in, we set up the circumstances, and we learned those circumstances by heart, and when those changed, and the world changed, then we changed our circumstances with it. But we set those up as our boundary of this is how the way things work. And who's to say that things can't work or can't change to a different thing? Maybe it's just the circumstances here aren't what you're used to. I'm not used to the unknown. I'll grant you that. Des Baha'i. Well, that's the child in you. The child is speaking to you and telling you that, that this is all not what you're used to, but... I acknowledge that. I do. But I'm not going to let anybody take advantage of that. No. Uh, we're not the only ones interested in this island. All the people here are interested in this island, I'm sure. And people outside of it. How, how will they get here? Who, who knows about this place? Uh, Des, uh, he takes a line of salt and he draws it on the table. He just takes a little salt shaker and like does a line on the table. And the, see this circle? This is your island, right? Mm -hmm. And then he takes another circle and he puts it around the island. It's like this is the water surrounding the island, right? Yes. Okay. And then he takes the salt and he puts as much as he can in his hands and he shoves it into the air as far as he can. And just like spreads it as far and as wide as he can. That is an inkling of everybody else outside of the island. Only lost things can come here. You'd be surprised how much of that is in the real world. Uh, what are you guys doing? I'm finding thistle immediately. Yeah, thistle. Thistle is found. Uh, she's in the water. And she's thistle, stop out. playing. You have to stop right now. Why? Because this is a distraction. We're, we were looking for your for ever, all the Never Boys. Okay. Why? We're we're all having fun and just forgetting about everything. No, but we're, we're having fun for a minute, and then we're gonna go find them. But it's also fun to have fun sometimes, and it's not like having fun for an hour is gonna. Stop How do we know that it's been them? an hour? I don't know. Are you sure it's been an hour? Mm. No. But look what I can do. And I'm going to um, <laughs> get within 30 feet of... Who's swimming in the water right now? Is there anybody else playing in the water? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Clip is playing in the water. Uh, Chris is playing in the water. Um, these guys are outside. I, I'm about to be playing in the water after mm -hmm. a little aside, but... yeah. Kind of what is your side? side? So, what, once you have a free moment, is there a free moment with Des? I mean, I'm kind of just yeah. Talking tug her, back tug her on the sleeve, and then she's yeah. Um, one moment. Anyways, so. <laughs> 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 no, this is important. What could be so important? I'm going to go have fun. I just want you to know. <laughs> no, listen to me. I think it's good for me to have fun right now. But I'm also getting a weird Pleasure Island Cersei vibe from this place, so I'm going to <laughs> go jump off the waterfall. But if things start to we'll get weirder... We are on an island. Since so he's right there and I'm still... Can I see him off the ground? Yeah, I just mean, that's why you and you get a perception check. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one. Mm -mm. No? no, no, no. Uh, 19 Ten. on the dice. Ten, and it's just it, you're, you're, he's being annoying. He's yeah. being, just, oh, you're like okay, go play. Bye, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm no. just saying, if things get weird, just get me out. So things have been weird. Sensible side saying this is weird. You notice him, but lose. I've got to. You notice him lose two years. Oh, you two years. 
You are right there. You notice him lose two years. We have to go. But no. I'm trying like, to get young. Young. Just like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're good, man. All right. If things get weird, pull me out, but I'm going to. Fine. We should leave eventually. I'm we? leaving. I can't. We can't stay here. Why? What? If you don't think this is a good idea, then we should go. No, we can't stay here. We should go. I agree with you. Uh, as, as you're like, we should go, I agree with you, you go, <gasps> like, jump in the water. I've yeah. been sneaking up on people in the water, but staying 30 feet away, and with mage hands, splashing them, and then not, like, <laughs> All right. and then pretending like I didn't do it. Give, me, give me slide of mage hands. Uh, as you, uh, people are looking around for this giant fish that's in the water that seems to be invisible. And it's like, Cal's going to walk into the water now. That was a two plus four. That was a six. Cal walks into the water, and it's just sort of like, like... Yeah. And just like, just grabs her leg for a second. Hey, uh, Cal, mm. uh, do you want a little bit of help? What's up? Uh, you want to be human for a little bit? <sighs> sure, that might ring some bells. Cool, cool, cool. And he, uh, 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 you see, uh, Dole snaps his fingers a little bit, and yeah, Cal's pretty. <laughs> I, I mean, Cal, Cal has tan skin, long black hair. Uh, uh, gorgeous, like, brown <laughs> eyes. Uh, like, uh, he's in his early 20s. He's younger than Slowpoke at the moment. Uh, but he's, like, he's... he's just a little bit. Uh, and, uh, I think, uh, I think, what's his name, looks over at you now. Uh, I think Dole looks over at you and goes, uh, and motions you over. No. I don't trust you anymore. Why? We've been trying to find everyone that we care about. And as soon as this is here, we lose track of that. You've distracted everyone. I have. Why? Because they needed it. No, we don't. Now, we need to find the people that we love. No. And he will look over to where Slowpoke is. He will just, he will just nod over in his direction. It's not just about me. Is it? No, it's not. You... It's never just been about me. It's been about everyone else I care about. I care about everybody that we've brought to your amazing, happy place. So why, of all the tiniest people in this group, are you carrying the most weight? That doesn't matter. It doesn't? No. Why can't you fly now? That's none of your business. Actually, it probably is, because you probably already know, don't you, Dole? I do. Then tell me why. Because you are carrying an eight-year-old boy on your shoulders. That's what you think it is? I think so. You don't think it's because of the accident? No. Then tell me why these are shredded. Why what shredded? My wings. Through your wings aren't shredded. They always have been shredded. What are you talking about? No, they're not. Did you fix them? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, is Des close by? I'll be... Des is right. Yeah, yeah, Des is uh, sitting at the table with Duncan. Uh, but I think this yelling has caught everyone's attention, other than the people playing in the pool, as mm -hmm. this, like, a mage and water battle between uh, them. And, and, and then you just see... Uh, um, Cal, who's like, looks down, he's wearing a pair of shorts, and all of a sudden he like, pulls the shorts up and looks underneath. He's like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> like uh, and, and jumps in the water, slow pokes in the water, and, like, everybody's swimming in this little general area, and like, still kind of by the shore, slower pokes, like, and just gets in the water from where he put it down, like, from before. Uh, but you notice there's some yelling going on. If, if I noticed, then I would definitely, because I was gearing up to go with her and round everybody up to leave, um, so I would have definitely, like, kind of been there on the sidelines letting her, yeah. letting her talk. She's but there. Why do you want us here? I approach. I come up. Is because everyone all right? Just trying to get some answers. I am here to recharge my batteries. Recharge your batteries or ours? Both. Yes. I, both at the same time. I don't want to play your game anymore. Then you don't have to play. But quit imposing yourself on them having fun. Oh, now I'm imposing myself on everyone. Good to know. How much was our fee? Your fee's already been paid. In full. 
All right. I, because that kid over there doesn't belong, belong in his body. And you know it. I think she knows it. He doesn't belong in his body. I don't think you belong here. Plus, I think you mentioning this is just another way to distract us. Let's go grab our people and let's head. All right, kids. Uh, 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 swim is done. Uh, Aww. And, and he, <laughs> uh, he sort of calls over and he uh, he brings over the table and sort of sets it up uh, near the front entrance of the place and says, um, if y'all want to take anything on your way out, you can. You don't have to. It, it is freely given and freely taken. So. Uh, uh, I didn't get to do my cannonball. Yeah, as because well, I don't think you. I don't think you know about that yet. Oh. Did so I'm, as we go out, I'm gonna go this, before we leave. There's one last game you gotta do before we leave. Okay. Okay. Points out, and he points up to the. Goes, you gotta do cannonball as big as we can, as best as you can. <laughs> I got this. You got this. I can trust you. I got this. Yeah. Uh, I promise. Do I see this? You see a little whispering going on in the corner. He's like, he's like, tell you what, I, I, I swear that I'm not doing anything. If you want to let them do one last cannibal, I'm, I will not. Y'all can leave freely. I will, I will close up the pool for good. Inside. Yeah, I roll for it. Both of you can be inside. Ooh. Um, 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 19? 19. Thank God. <laughs> Oh my uh, gosh, no. there's too many whispers uh, happening today. Uh, let's, welcome to Between the Lines on Indigo Command. <laughs> welcome to Anxiety, part three. Hey there, smooth travelers. <laughs> <laughs> on a little oh. journey through D&D. &D. Didn't Our see first that. Stop, welcome Dice to City. <laughs> Get out your dice, give them a roll, look at them. Have that call me. Ooh, you know Welcome to Never okay. Episode Five. I'm Secret how I play. <laughs> play, play how you play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he goes, he goes. Uh, one cannonball, and, and and that's it. Please, please. One, one, one. That's all. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, he goes, he goes. Okay. Here's the rules for the game. There are no rules. Best cannonball wins. <laughs> and uh, and he will uh, wave his hands and these little glob globules of light will do -do 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 -do, uh, pa pave out this little railing up to the top. Uh, oh, where the so Wait, what, what's the objective of the game? Best cannonball wins? Best cannonball wins. All right, so I'm climbing up to the top. All right. Okay, and I'm gonna close my eyes. All right. I'm gonna take a deep breath. All right. I'm gonna jump and I'm gonna cast minor illusion what? and a five <laughs> foot cannonball around me, like, <laughs> an actual cannonball illusion. As I go down <laughs> the water. Yeah, that's a better version of what I was thinking. <laughs> I was on board with it. It's, five, All right. it's within a five foot cube, so. Okay, and so. And if it doesn't last with me, then at least it's a. Um, it, uh, the, if it won't last with me, if it's got to be in a static position, then I'm going to jump off and then have it surround. Do you right want to I'm cast it? Right, I'll, I'll, have you start casting? Do you want to cast it as you hit the water? Yes. Like if I can't have it all the way down, then I want it like give jump me, and do flips and then cannonball. Give me athletics or performance. Can okay. I uh, please inspire this? Yes. You can. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because I got no modifiers to those things. Yep. Um, Go ahead. <laughs> so he's going to look at you. Got this. This is all you. You get that big splash. Yes. Bigger the splash, the better. Yes. You got us. Uh, uh huh. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Go take that. Uh, uh, the cannonball thing is inspired. Go ahead and roll at advantage. <laughs> As he, Did uh, you say acrobatics? Or acrobatics, acrobatics or, or performance. Matter. Okay. Th it will be either one of those okay. two. <laughs> oh. She's she's going. Okay. I, so. It's at advantage. Yeah. Oh, it's an advantage? It's an advantage okay. because of the camera. If you not won this, I was going to have you belly flop so damn hard. <laughs> like, if she makes it, as soon as she hits the wind, or hits the water, I want to use prestidigitation to, prestidigit to make the water go into his eye so he can't see how big it is. Okay. I'm into this. Okay. Which so the get? first one roll was in that one. Okay. <laughs> the second one was 11 on the die, and then two... Would you have to? But then it's now hang on. The guys, this is a fun game, and we're gonna introduce it. Stop. We're gonna introduce this now. What is the what is the inspiration die that Cal gave you? Uh it was a DA. It's a DA. 
Cal. Right, has, so is it a D8 or it's still a D6? Cal, I'm sorry. Well, I'll still say it's still a two. Yeah. Okay, so Cal has a very interesting Bardic College. Okay. Cal will allow you to press your luck when rolling Inspiration die. What that means is you can roll another Inspiration die. If you get higher than the one you rolled, you add both together. And he burns through two inspirations. He's letting this choice be up to you guys. It's your call. However, if you roll lower than the dice you rolled, you lose both the inspirations. It's, 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 yeah, you're, it's, it's you're absolutely going to roll higher two. I rolled exactly a two. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good pressure like us. So. Two, four plus two. So 11... 15, 15, 16, 17. The water, uh, the, you, you splash the water, there's an image of a cannonball, and a, you, you're like, you're like, I, I'm not gonna play this stupid. <laughs> like, and a little bit of water like falls in his eye, and he's like, oh, what the? And he like, he overacts a little bit, but he's just like, that was a, were you actually a cannonball? He's like freaking out, like, that was like, uh, he's like, all right, it's gonna be tough to beat, who's up next? I, I suppose I'll go, yes, here we go. Okay. What is it? Uh, this is athletics or performance? 20. Okay. Uh, you doing anything to augment this? Yeah. I don't know if I have anything to augment this. I'm gonna, okay. no. I'm gonna take this time to cast Unseen Servant. Okay. You go to cast Unseen Servant, and you guys watch as Slowpoke, uh, gets over and, uh, and gets to the, the edge of the cliff face, and he looks down. And as you jump, you are falling. You're like looking at the group, and you're having this moment of like all these people like cheering and um, sitting on the roof of the hut above the food, two or three cookies in his mouth. Uh, you see uh, Toodles go like, <laughs> as you go, and splash into the water. You come out of the water, and you're like immediately looking on the roof, but he's he's gone, and so are the cookies. <laughs> Um, but yeah, great. Uh, that's a great with the twenty. It's a huge splash. Like it's bigger than your splash. Yeah. But it and you're impressed. Okay. Anybody else doing a cannonball? Uh, do go? Go yep. Go. Yep. Go for it. I'll <laughs> let you do a substitute athletics here if you want to do athletics I, instead. Would this be a deja vu? It says DM discretion. It's up to you. <laughs> yes, this is a deja vu moment. Uh, as as you go, oh, yeah, and you remembered like being like a really little kid. It was after like you were kind of been kicked out of the lost, um, the lost yeah. boys uh, because they they didn't understand why you were there with them, and you were sort of wandering along and you were traveling with this particular group, and you remember one of the elephants picking you up in its trunk, throwing you into the air as far as you could, and you hitting the water, but you like belly flopping onto the water, and like water just going like and spreading out everywhere. So yes, this is a deja vu moment. So it's athletics, you said? You need to roll a d6 for me first. Is it d6? Yeah, see if it works. <laughs> Who... It does not work, but yeah. It's a nice memory. Ath though. It was a great memory. <laughs> athletics or acrobatics? As you go, like okay. you guys watch as as uh, she goes over to the water, clip climbs to the top of the waterfall, gets ready. Oh no! <laughs> Did you not one? And does the most <laughs> epic belly flop you've ever seen in your entire life. No splash, but just uh, she breaks the sound barrier. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's the water and just slowly sinks. <laughs> Everyone. I'm just gonna stay down there for a little bit. <laughs> and she just like she like gets up and she's like, I did it, and her belly is just completely oh, red. God. Red. She's still in like the suit, but she's like, she's just like, huh? Huh? Really yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you just see her like like do like a lion roar as she like like yells at the sky like. Uh, I think that brings us. Towards Cal. Okay. Um, Are you gonna cannonball? Yeah. I'm going to cannonball. Um, he's gonna tell his unseen servant to stand at the impact zone. In the water. In the water. Okay. Uh, so, so all of a sudden, you guys see a human-sized imprint in near the impact zone, like in the water, like almost like an invisible dude is swimming. Um, he's gonna climb up, and then he's gonna cast. Stone feather on himself. 
Oh god. Oh, oh my god. Okay. He's going to stone feather on himself. Just uh, talking about that kid. What happens with stone feather, buddy? It just makes it so I drop like a rock. <laughs> okay. Oh, dude. So, <laughs> oh you watch as he walks over there, and this handsome man with like dark hair uh, goes uh, over, and as he's about to jump in the water, he casts Stone Feather on himself and sinks like a rock. I also have the cannonball that Quartz had in his hand as he goes down. He never specified that it had to be a person, it was just the <laughs> cannonball. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are no rules. Just it's right. a cannonball. Yeah, you jump and you're like, eh, it's not an impressive. And then he's like, actual cannonball. <laughs> and like, false one. And then it just makes this big split. Give me a performance or athletics uh, at advantage. As oh, you even better. Throw a actual cannonball into the water. Ooh, performance. That is 22. It's impressive. There is a larger splash than should be humanly possible. And and you watch as Dolt like just is like ecstatic. He's clapping, he's screaming. Um do you let go of the cannonball? No, I hold on to that your life. Give me a strength saving throw, please, as you've just jumped into a lake holding a cannonball. Uh, sixteen. Yeah, you manage to hold on to it. I think as it drags you down into the water, this cannonball is real, real heavy and falls, falls, falls. <laughs> And cracks against the ground, uh, uh, splitting the chains. Okay. Uh, so now you cows can get up and pull things in together. Yeah, all the out. chains fall off of it. Uh, you know that it's openable, but you don't have to open it now. Okay. He's like, I have been enjoying this immensely, and I cannot thank y'all enough for what you did. Uh, it's my turn to Um But thank you guys. That was... I needed that more than you can possibly know. Okay. Right. Yes. Uh, he he actually goes over and he uh, he goes and uh, goes to the table and uh, starts uh, like putting some of the fruit together and he's like puts in bags and he gets some of the cookies and he's like y'all are gonna want to try these later and uh, like puts them up in the little bags and stuff like that and goes over to the, where the podium is and he like goes over to the podium and shrinks it down a little bit puts it in his pocket and climbs to the top of the waterfall. He, yeah. he signals Unseen Servant. Go loot the splash as much as you can. Yeah. Uh, what level is Unseen Servant? It is, level two. It is It's only level one. Cool. Uh, that uh, is dispelled oh. as he climbs to the top. Oh. And, uh, he said no rules, had to try. And he's like, the only reason I did it is because I said no rules, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he does that, and as he does, uh, the wings unfurl from his back as he uh, flies up into the air. Uh, impossibly high like keeps going keeps going keeps going keeps going keeps going and uh hey y'all great game watch this <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> hey, hey Buford watch this the wings <laughs> unfurl and he just goes barely down barely down and almost turns into like a little ball of light that surrounds him and so much so that Duncan gets nervous and pulls out the war hammer uh, and I draw then. Too. As as he does, he sort of looks over at you and just sort of nods, like, it, and uh, he pulls the stone, the the wood carving of the um, indigo chameleon necklace out, and he puts it on his chest. As this little ball of light comes flying down, flying, flying down, and as it gets close to the water, right as he impacts the water, uh, he like spins almost like Sonic style, like, and then. And as he hits the water, all of the water leaves the pool. Every, every, every ounce of it goes flying out. You guys get drenched. Duncan is soaked uh, from head to toe, almost like it was geared to, to like soak every inch of him. He is soaked. He is destroyed. You are soaked, except for Nell. Nell doesn't have a spot of water touching her. And the park is gone. You are standing in a large tree house uh, gathered around the outer edge. The fruit is there. The cookies are there. All of the baked goods are there. And there is a little girl standing in this tree house wearing a crown of daisies. She's holding a wooden shield. 
uh, on this wooden shield is like what looks like a little tiny symbol of a chameleon. <laughs> and she looks over at you and she's like, Thistle? And she like, she like drops the shield and starts crying and she's like, she's like, hang on, hang on, hang on, nobody move. Nobody move, because the camera stopped working, and I want to get this up, because you guys are doing really good. Oh, right. God. All right, there you go. Uh, uh, <laughs> she, uh, she runs over to you, and she's like, no? No, I was real brave. I was so brave. I met these people, and they looked like these guys, and they had the little chameleon, and, and, and I tried, and there was a council meeting, and, and I tried to go to the council meeting, do I remember her? Yeah, yeah. It's da- Daisy was like the littlest girl oh, in the I'm bunch, saying. like, and she was like, there was nobody, there was nobody here to be on the council, so I had to be everybody in the council, and oh, I got, I got, no, 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 no. I had to put on different hats and do different voices for uh, people, oh. and I'm like, and is there a way that I can see if this is actually her? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what would I roll for that? Uh, give me a hug check. Uh-huh. Or like insight, or like wisdom, or luckily I have a plus twelve on hugs. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hugging uh, is free action. <laughs> wisdom. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's just fifteen straight. Yeah. Um. She, she. You're like I don't know if this is, and she hits her knees like she's running towards you. She hits her knees and slides on them. She gets like little like, cuts and bruises on them. But the reason she hits her knees is so she can get it head level with you and puts her head down. And like to tips her head, and she's like, "There was a, a thing, and I was sick, and I got black stuff in my eyes." I don't and know then, if I'm not a hugger while she's talking. Yeah, yeah, she and she jogging. and she like she like she like hugs you too, and she's like, "And you're part of the tribe, and I saw an old lady, and she was older than you, and you look real old, and then this lady <laughs> was way older, and then you're you you're a big, but you're not a pirate, and then that's a skeleton. Hi, and then it's like you, I like your bear stuff." And then she's she's just like talking because she's been without some, somebody for so long. She's like, and I made this, and she shows the little shield um, that she made. She's like, it's not very good. This is like my fourth one. I, I broke all the other ones um, by accident, but I'm really glad you guys are here. It's good to see you. Oh my god, there's two people on my council. I can talk to somebody else. <laughs> oh, I'll help you do voices. <laughs> can you tell me? where we're supposed to use the bathroom <laughs> because nobody told me where we're supposed to use the bathroom and I wasn't able to find where we're supposed to use the bathroom. Okay, where did you use it? I just picked a spot. <laughs> That's probably okay as long as it's not in the treehouse. I need to clean up. This it's fine. Um, I, I'm going to ask her where. I'm going to ask her where. Where, where, where. It's okay. Like, I'm not mad at you. Just where is it? Yeah, and she like like points over to a, a little corner. Perfect. I'm going to use precipitation to <laughs> clean the spot. Oh my god, I wish I had that. <laughs> I got you. Well, um, I, I don't wish to interrupt the all the uh, festivities that are going on, but um, you have the chameleon on your shield. Yeah, there were some really nice people. And I met a guardian, and he was real, real sweet and real, real nice. And there was this other girl. And she she was barefoot, and that's why I'm barefoot. But it doesn't really work for me as much as it it worked for her. And and, when and this was before. before and there's the another girl that talk like this. <laughs> I thought she's a girl too. Howdy, hi, man. <laughs> um, uh, and this was this was before the sick. No, this is after the sick. Cause you I'm, you met with a group of people after the sick. Yeah, and he looked like, uh, some of them looked like this guy. And uh, she points back and like, Chris is like soaking wet, like some is shivering and like smiles and Duncan looks over at Chris and Chris looks over and he's like, um, uh, you remember the, um, the cooks? And Duncan shakes his head. He's like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that 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 was our people. That was our people. Uh, that we sent a, a team before us, and they had reports of a little girl, and 
and so far they haven't been able to. Uh, this happened a while ago, right? Like a couple of months? And then she's like, no, they... She's like, what's a month? And he's <laughs> like, no, it's... it's yeah, this, these are our people. I, I'm... This looks really deeply personal, and I'm uncomfortable with personal. So I think we're going to let you guys go. Are um, you leaving? Yeah. Uh, but I'm not going to be far. Uh, can I borrow you for a second? Uh, it is a pleasure meeting all of you guys. And Chris Chris goes over and he like... He's like tries to shake everybody's hand. He like, he's I'm like, gonna go up to Chris. Yeah. And I'm gonna take out a little like fur blanket I have in my bag and just wrap it around. <laughs> thanks so much. Pat his head. <sighs> thanks. Uh, thanks. I, I really. Oh. Uh, um. Oh, here. Uh, and he he'll like, reach into his. Does he have one? <laughs> <laughs> he. Uh, okay. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, that's a good roll. Uh, he like reaches into his pocket and he's like, um, this is um uh, this is. Um, like uh, a fruit leather, because I noticed you weren't eating it. This is like fruit leather. I, it's, it's, I keep some in my pocket in case I get low blood sugar. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> like, eat, e- eat. <laughs> I eat it. Yeah. Oh my god, I think I love her. <laughs> like Chris, Chris kind of goes back. Um, uh, Duncan will pull you aside. People are coming. How many? A lot. Will they fit? They'll make themselves fit. My job is to make sure that you are left alone. But people always slip through the cracks. And he looks at back at them, and he looks at you, and he says, "They're going to need you." I'll keep them with me. Can you give me any more? I need, I need to know what's going to happen. What? Why is this changing? Um, in the language of the tribe, mm-hmm. he will turn to you and say, may mother watch over you. May Father guide you. May you protect the child. I repeat the same back to him. And he he will he says we'll be in touch. And he walks away with Chris. And Chris is like, um, Duncan, you ever been in love with somebody before? How do you know that it's a <laughs> it's a thing? And he's like, uh, this way, Krispy Kreme, and. Walks him. Um, uh, so Duncan and Krispy Kreme uh, walk uh, away from the treehouse, and uh, and uh, they're going back to their king. There, and and uh, they a portal appears in front of them, and they step through it. As Daisy goes, oh, they they the other ones did that too. It's okay. That's a portal. I know things now. Um, do you guys probably need to rest, right? Um, Daisy? Yeah? What happened to the purple guy with the top hat? What purple guy? Uh, uh nothing. What's he look like? Uh, well, purple. <laughs> How did he act? Uh, he had a big sharp teeth like he grin. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's the what's his name? He he was the guy that he like played with the poised on, right? With the what? The poised on. The the sea guy in the story. I don't know what you're talking about. The, the, the Sidon? No the no. poised on the sea god. Right, poised on the sea yeah. god. Yeah. And she'll pull out a book and she's like, yeah the book the, the old book of Giri geek that has all the the gods in it. Like, look, there's the poised on, right? And then there's there's um, there's this guy. And then she shows you a picture, and where it looks like this uh, figure sort of standing there, and somebody's drawn a black top hat on him with what looks like to be crayon. Uh-huh. 
and somebody's colored in the picture of this person, and it says, uh, Dolus, the spirit of trickery and guile. I was close. <laughs> Kel's looking for seeing if anything, anything was left behind, maybe a note, like, he's, he's not believing that I just Kel's like, no, 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 I'm your best friend. No, no. <laughs> um, Daisy, Daisy's like, like, like hugging onto you and holding onto you and stuff like that. Like, uh, and, uh, you know, she's, she's, she showed you like the old book, you know, the old book that's got all the different like sort of peoples in it. Where did you find this? We all we always had this. This has been here. I just didn't remember it. We we don't have a lot, but this is the one right. that has all the gods in it. We're going to bed. I'm That's going. what we're doing right now. We're going to sleep. What's your name? Clip. Clip. Uh, no, 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 Daisy. <laughs> no, no, Clip. Y- yes. Daisy. Daisy. <laughs> Clip. No. No. Yes. Cal. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I will tell you guys a story first. Thistle! <laughs> <laughs> and she looks over at you. You're supposed to say your name. Oh, uh, Slowpoke. You're Slowpoke? Yes. Have we met? Yeah, you were less mean than the other boys. <laughs> I, I, I do try. I fell down one time, everybody laughed, and you helped pick me up. Oh. You got old. I, He's I, less old than he was. Was he? He was older. What I don't now what? he's just old. Um, did you see Toodles? I've seen Toodles, yes. Um, how's he? I believe same as always, but I'm not quite sure what he always was. Did you guys see Peter? No. Sort of. I saw a show. No, we have not seen him. I haven't seen Peter. Did you see any Guardians? Todd. Todd. I don't know Todd. Um, was like, was like a... I'm going to go over to Des mm-hmm. and whisper, pull out the bear. Can I have it? <laughs> I'll just have it for the night, okay? Take okay. it for as I long see as the want. bear and I turn into a bear. <gasps> <laughs> Wait, can you actually turn into an animal? Yeah, I can turn into a bear. I think you summoned a bear totem. No, nope, I, I can you... turn into a bear. We're gonna we're gonna look at that <laughs> um, as you uh, as the, you sort of rage out and get all like bear form uh, with your bear totem uh, barbarian. I can't turn into a bear. You cannot <laughs> turn into a bear. I was like, girl, no, you can't. But you, you turn into the facsimile of a bear, and then she just holds up the little bear, and she's like, ah, and she starts chasing you with the little bear and like playing. I will pretend to be scared. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, do you guys see Hook yet? Yes. He's angry. We, He's have angry. you seen him? Yeah. Because somebody took something. Took what? I don't know. It's something real important. He's rounding up a bunch of people. We He's like trapping them in right? cages. He's like, where is he? Oh. Where is he? I remember the cages. Where is he? And they're like, I don't know. And they're like, where is he? How have you, how have you not been... How are you still here? They didn't want me because I was sick, and then they let me go. So they took the people who were not sick? Yeah. So that's where the other Never Boys are? I they assume that's where, that's where everyone we haven't seen is. She like, she's like, I'm so sorry, that's probably where the Never Boys are. This is worse than the peeing thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's good, because I'm glad you didn't go on your own, and now we can go and get them. Wait, what? Rescue mission? I do believe a rescue mission is at hand, but rescue mission. Yeah, we rescue we mission. Our people. Rescue. Rescue mission. But before we go on any rescue, rescue mission, mission, I I believe there's something to discuss. Whatever is going on, it is much bigger than I, I believe we thought it was. And last time we talked about all this kind of stuff. I am much bigger than us. Bigger rescue mission. Uh, give me an investigation check. I mean, I mean beyond beyond Hook himself. What is it now? We have people popping in from Ooh. from elsewhere saying that. Twenty one. Apparently, Boston. more people are going to come to Neverland too. The visitors that we had, they they were trying to make space for us. So that's just the thing. Is this? What does this mean for us? What does this mean for the this place? Does it? Is it all connected? Is it separate? Is it random? Pause. As you 
you as Cal leaves the group, finds a sack of coins. Mm -hmm. You open it up, you're like, gold, yeah. They're not gold. Uh, they're purple. And they've got his hat on them. Uh, the yeah, and they say one admittance. Oh. Um, as Slowpoke begins to speak, and the, the realization hits all of you is that the world is either shrinking or getting larger. Daisy is running around with Cliff, and they're playing the bear game, and Daisy's like, um, um, I, I have a question. Yes, we have an answer. Um, are we gonna talk about why Slowpoke is floating off the ground? You wanna talk about this? Uh, as she points and everybody looks and sees that he's floating off the ground, uh, about six inches, uh, the turtle is standing underneath him as if to be like, no, he's standing on me. And then, <laughs> and then uh, no. he sort of floats forward a little bit and the turtle's like, oh man, come on. <laughs> and um, Daisy sort of looks at him and then looks at the rest of the group. Are we going to talk about it? That's new. You can fly. You can you fly. Can. He flew. And that's where we're going to end tonight's episode, <laughs> folks. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> For tuning in, uh, it's a it's a shorter episode than the other ones. Uh, hi, twelve for ten cents. Thank you, everybody that sort of tuned in and hung out with us and 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 checked out the stream. Um, thank you so much. Uh, big welcome to Clip, who I think is going to be a welcome addition to the show. Uh, and I love her. I mean, <laughs> she's so good. Um, uh, and uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. We've got lots of games coming up on the channel, uh, and we will uh, see you guys soon. There is always a spot at the table for you. And are we ever going to stop doing cannonballs? Never! Love you guys. See you soon.